Okay, folks, here we go. We are um, trying to make a video here today to explain a little bit about uh, Wi-Fi and routers and modems and internet connections. They're all separate. A lot of people get these confused. So we're going to start off and we're going to keep it really simple. We're going to talk water. So let's say your internet provider calls you up and says, hey, I am going to give you a 10 gigabyte per second fire hydrant of data. Ooh, for free, for two years. We need you to test it for us. Hey, that's fantastic. Now, let's remember, let's have a look at like your average router. Here's your Wi-Fi router. Or the back of your PC, right there is where you're going to plug in. Or you're going to go to your router and plug from here into your PC or laptop. Those are one gig connections, right? One gig. That's a one gig. So here's your fire hydrant. 10 gig a second. But your router and Wi-Fi is a garden hose. One gig a second. So what's the fastest you can ever connect to the internet app why yes it's the garden hose you just can't shove more water through a garden hose than you can a fire hose and unfortunately modern routers and the back of most pcs don't have 10 gigabyte per second connections they just don't now we're going to go over a few other things. Now, I wrote about this a while back. You can read the article. I broke it down a little farther. But basically what it comes down to is the slowest point in the chain will be the fastest connection you can get. So, look, great. You've got a one gig connection. So your computer, maybe your PC, can connect right near one gig on a good day with the wind behind it, nothing else going on, by the way. And your tablets, well, they like my tablets on my router, which is a TP link, like in the picture here. Um, but they'll hook up at 433. That's it. Wireless AC, 5 gigahertz band, which is very respectable. More than fast enough for me to run my tablet server website. There's you know, just nobody going to hit it and use up that kind of bandwidth. Ah, but that's assuming you have one device hooked up. My cell phone, on the other hand. We'll get back to that one device hooked up thing. My cell phone, on the other hand, is on wireless and it hooks up at 135 megs a second. Assuming everything goes perfectly, and we just go straight out and check it on speedtest.net. The most we could ever get would be probably 135 megaseconds. Probably will never happen. And depending on your provider, if they're providing the same upload and download speeds, those could vary widely. A lot of providers cut back on your upload speeds. So now let's say you got your tablet running. And you're uploading your latest video to YouTube. Uh-oh. That's using some bandwidth. And your phone is sitting there sinking away. And you're watching, I don't know, the latest live stream of Major League Baseball on Fox. Ooh. That's using some. And then you got your tablet over there. And you're downloading the latest 1966 release of the Rolling Stones Super album, I don't know what it was. Uh, so you're doing all this stuff. Okay. Maybe you're still under the 433 limit times 2, which is 866. Nine, six, yeah, we're right there. We're at the 1 gig. We're, we have now filled up that garden house. It can't move any more water. No more data. 1 gig. That's it. Now your cousin Vinny comes over in his giant pickup truck and he has to show you his latest iPhone 
x dash 3, the notch is three times bigger. He's all proud of that because he just blew $1,100 on the cell phone. Well, you're still using a cell phone that costs 120 that works just as well. And Vinny says, oh, you got Wi-Fi here. Cool. What's your password? So you're dumb enough to give him your password. And he starts watching football porn. God knows what. And he's using, it comes with a super one gig wireless built-in AC antenna thing. Uh-huh. Well, now all your other connections start to slow down. Because, once again, that fire hose here, one gig a second. That's it. Doesn't matter what this can provide. It's what can get through the smallest link in the chain. So Vinny's using all this up, and then your sister stops by, and she drops off her kid and her cat and asks you to watch them for a while. They both have an iPad. And so the cat's sitting there watching kid videos, and the kid is sitting there watching cat videos. And now they're using up more bandwidth. And now your tablet drops offline, and you lose your Rolling Stone connection, and you're just never going to get that album today. And you upload to YouTube. They decide that you've just been inactive for way too long and they just disconnect from you. And Cousin Vinny has to suddenly run outside because he forgot to put his truck in park and roll down the hill. And he's really upset about the fact that 100 gallons of gas have spilled out where the tree ran through the gas tank. Because his greatest worry in the world is gasoline. Because he was an idiot and bought a four-wheel drive pickup truck and didn't realize it only got eight miles a gallon. In the meantime, his tablet slash cell or his super iPhone 10 3 is still downloading football porn at 8 billion gigabytes a second or attempting to do. Now, let's say you have bandwidth to handle all that. And say you got this super router that can just you know, do the moo memo and all that other cool crap and live streams and everything. And then you go to a website called Bob's Tech Expert Hardware, and he comes up on Google with the answer to a, a problem you've been having forever. Except Bob's still running on a 56K modem hooked to the phone company. What's the fastest you can ever hook to Bob at, no matter how fast your router is, even if you throw the kid, the cat, and Cousin Vinny out of the house, turn off your tablet, and turn off your laptop, and you're just doing this on your phone. What's the fast? Yeah, 56K. That's it. Smallest link in the chain. So, before you run out and buy a new router, just remember, it doesn't matter how much you have from your provider. It's how much you can get through the smallest hole, the smallest hose. And usually it's your device. It will probably have the most issues hooking up. It's not going to have the latest and the greatest tech unless you buy, you know, new phones and new tablets every day. And even then, they're going to lag behind. And then at the other end, where this fire hose is hooked up down to the water house, you know, in your city water department, that's the website you're going to. And they've only got a garden hose feeding the fire hydrant. In other words, Bob's Super Tech Advice.com, whatever. Hopefully, there isn't a Bob's Super Tech Advice.com because otherwise, he'll be rather ticked. But it's only feeding out a gallon a minute. Yeah. Can't go any faster than what. Bob is giving you. No matter how fast your connection is, it still ha is up to the server how overloaded it is. So do not fall for the trap of, oh, my service provider took us from 50 meg a second to 100 meg. And yet you've got a router that does 400 meg a second like mine. Do you have to go get the latest router? Hell no. Don't invite your cousin over and tell your sister to take care of her kid and the cat on her own. And that's all I got for today.
And that is going to be the end of that.